Hi, we are Engineering Brothers and we have got our brand new class which is our Fleming's left hand rule. This rule is very very essential but before I go into that I want to refresh our previous classes. In our previous classes I have completed uh, what is the exact force on our conductor if the conductor is placed in our uniform magnetic field and if the conductor has some certain amount of current and i have already completed if you do change the conductor position in our magnetic field then what will be the said uh, force on that on that given conductor so i have already completed in our previous classes if you have missed that classes please do follow that classes if you want to understand our basic concepts now get back to our present class we have got our Fleming's left hand rule and this rule is very very important why because right now we have got the two conditions or uh, two direction is been formulated over here first we have got the current direction and with the help of this current direction we do require to find out the flux direction over there but if the flux direction has been given then the current direction will be followed after that and we have used uh, our concept of our right hand screw rule or right hand rule to get uh, this uh, condition or get the direction of our current and of our flux over here but if you have the something different condition say we have got two directions are already given say our current and our field or flux direction is given then how do you define or how do you how could you find out the direction of our force on that given conductor so to evaluate this consideration we should have used the Fleming's right hand rule and I have just shown you the right uh, not the right hand the Fleming's left hand rule okay so right hand could not be given just like this one and uh, the hand diagram uh, may be a little bit better but I have tried uh, to beautify that hands so you can see that we have got three fingers over here which is very very important this is our this is the exact combination for our Fleming's rep hand rule that is not the right hand rule so keep it in your mind okay so this is left hand rule and because of that the left hand rule that is been shown over here so this is the exact formation over here so this is our first finger this is our second finger and this one is our thumb for our left hand rule so first finger actually indicates the direction of the field or the direction of the flux you can see that i have written over here the field or the flux so the first finger actually give us the direction of our field and quite importantly before i go into that which finger is which one or how do i indicate that always you should make sure that your hand should be in terms of the particular direction so just stretch your finger just like this one so this is uh, so stretch thus just like this one okay and place these uh, three directions in a particular uh, in a perpendicular way uh, or stretch your fingers just like this one so which one signifies what so let us go that over here so the first finger so this is our first finger the first finger give us the direction of the field or direction of the flux according to our diagram and over here you can see that this is our first finger and which actually indicates the direction of the field now move on towards our second finger which one is this one so this second finger actually indicates the direction of the current you can see that this is the direction of our current and i have already written the convention or uh, finger convention over here which is our second finger which actually give us the direction of the current okay now we have got a conductor i have already 
do know the direction of the field and i already do know the direction of the current and i have smartly aligned with that given conductor now what seems to be the direction of the force on that given conductor the direction of the force actually give us the direction of the thumb so this thumb actually indicates the direction of the force and you can see that the direction of the force is being indicated just like this one and i have tried to beautify our hands but uh, uh, this drawing is very very beautiful for me uh, so don't get complained by these uh, simple hands over here i have tried to draw in a beautiful way but that is not the reason i am here try to beautify your concepts okay that is why i have given you the direction of our consideration over here now once again i am going to summarize over here if you do stretch your fingers your first finger second finger and the thumb uh, in this way or in this perpendicular way we do have know that know that uh, the first finger actually indicates the direction of the field or flux the second finger actually indicates the direction of the current on that given conductor and the thumb ultimately give us the direction of the force or direction of the force or motion that is the same thing over here so this is all about our fleming's left hand rule for our given analogy okay now i want to give you a very special ideas to remember this one if you do alter the current only the current or only the field then the direction of the motion is changing now if you do change both the current and the field uh, or do alter the current and the field in a uh, consecutive way then the direction of the motion or direction of the force will be the same i want to repeat this consideration over here if you only change only one thing or if you only change the current or if you only change the field over here then definitely the direction of the force will change or will alter or will differ but if you do change the both thing or if you do change the current and the field uh, in a sequential way or in a consecutive way then the direction of the uh, force will remain the same so this is all about our fleming's left hand rule and mind you this one is our left hand rule not the right hand rule the right hand rule actually give us the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of the uh, current if one is missing say if the direction of the magnetic field is present then with the help of our right hand rule or right hand screw rule we could have come out with the direction of the current but in the opposite sense if uh, the direction of the current is been given then with the help of that right hand rule we can find out the direction of the magnetic field but over here we have got the two conditions that is ultimately given the direction of the current and the direction of the field is already given then how do you find out the direction of the force or direction of that motion on that uh, said consideration so if the direction of the current and the direction of the field is given for that one if you try to find out what seems to be the direction of that uh, magnetic uh, force or what seems to be the force on that given conductor uh, what is the given configuration the configuration is very simple just do align your left hand just like this one uh, do align the direction of the field is this is the direction of the field and this is the direction of the current just do align these two fingers so first finger actually give us the direction of the field the second finger gives us the direction of the current which actually give us ultimately the thumb actually give us the direction of the force on that given intended conductor so this is all about our fleming's left hand rule i hope you have understood our total analogy over here if you still have any doubts please let us know in the comment section we will try our level best to improve our classes or improve our concepts uh, if you have any doubts or if you have any constructive suggestions regarding our channel please let us know in the comment section we will try our level best to improve our 
knowledge and improve our classes as for your convenience and do follow our classes because these type of classes are altogether very very special and do subscribe our channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel if you don't subscribe our channel you are going to miss a lot of exciting videos over here so stay tuned with our channel and do follow our classes okay that's it thank you and goodbye if you like my video so what are you waiting for please do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned to the channel thank you and goodbye